Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to give you a little overview of one of my favorite places to find photographs, maps, documents, and more to use in history lessons. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And it is, of course, the Library of Congress. And it is a massive website, and it's gotten more streamlined over the years, but it still takes a little time to get familiar with the site and to know where to send your students to find resources. And so I generally will send students to the digital collections, and they can search within the digital collections up here by keyword, or go through the search refinement tools over here on the left-hand side. And let's say we're going to look for things that are in American history, and I want to find, let's say, a map. And so I want to look at maps, and we can see that these are now collections of maps. I now have 11 collections of maps, and let's go inside here and say we're looking for Civil War maps. We'll click on that, and then inside of this collection, we can read a little bit about the collection here, but we want to go and dive into the collection itself, and we can see the featured content, but let's look at the collection items, and now we can see, okay, these are all the items in this digital collection that are in image format, and we can look at the date. We can do a date refinement here. And we can look over here at location. So let's go for 1800 to 1899. Map format. And let's refine this to 1860 to 1869. We can even go in here and say, okay, 1864. And even further down, we can say we want to go for location, and I want location of Georgia. And now I'm down to 138 maps. And I can continue to refine that using all those tools on the left-hand side. And these are all available online. Now, when your students do find something in here, or you find something in here, just go ahead and click on it. And let's make sure that it is something that is in the public domain and that we can actually use it. So go to the rights and access, and we want to make sure, yep, in this case, it is available to use and reuse for free. Speaking of which, there are collections of free to use and reuse sets. These are curated collections thematically arranged by Library of Congress staff, and all of these have been cleared to be in the public domain and freely available. You'll find that at llc.gov slash free dash to dash use. And let's say we want to look at this one here about birds. So this is a collection all related to birds. Now this collection isn't going to encompass everything that's bird related on the Library of Congress website. This, again, is a curated collection. So let's look at this one here, and we can see oh, this is kind of a neat map, or neat graphic, I should say, not a map. And we can choose the size that we want. Go ahead and now save that. And let's save it as 1890 bird chart. And we'll go ahead and save that now on my desktop as an image file. And of course, once I've saved it, I can use it in other projects. So that's a quick overview of one of my favorite places to find maps, images, documents, and other media to use in your history lessons. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel,